should you crawl back into your mother's rancid womb, gestate for a few more hours, slime back out, and then learn something about not being an entitled white piece of shit. Because motherfuckers like you come here and you have no idea what it's like to be gay, to be a person of color, to know what it's like to live with institutional racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia. Yeah! You idiot! You, do you not realize? I told you about chocolate milk and foot on you, and then you'd be such a little baby, because that's who you kind of people are. You fucking cry about chocolate milk and spilled on you. You had a Jewish woman arrested at Florida State. Yeah. Cry? You're the one who just threw that at my face. Yeah, because you deserve it. You deserve a lot worse. statements that you made in the tail end of the campaign uh, in, in the midterms. That here, this, here we go. That, well, I, if Let's you don't go. mind, Let's Mr. President, Come on. that this caravan was an invasion. As you well, know, I, Mr. President, I consider it to be an invasion. As you know, Mr. President, the caravan was not an invasion. It's a, it's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me that. I I, why, why, did you, why did you characterize it as such? Uh, and as I consider it an invasion, you and I have a difference of opinion. But do you think that you demonized immigrants not in this election no, to try I to want keep... Them, I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. You know, they have to come in, Jim, through a process. I want it to be a process. And I want people to come in, and we need right. the people. You your, know, campaign, wait, your campaign... Wait, wait. You know why we need the people, don't you? Yeah. Because we have hundreds of companies moving in. We need the people. Right. But your campaign had an ad showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so on. Well, that's true. It poured, it, but they it, weren't actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. Well, no, it's true. Do you think they were actors? They weren't actors. They didn't come from Hollywood. Right. These, were, these were people. This was an actual, you know, it happened a few days ago. And, uh, They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of miles you know away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let me would be ask, much better. If I may ask another question, Mr. President, if I may ask one other question, are you worried? That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Pardon me, ma'am. Mr. President, that's enough. Mr. President, I had one other question, if I may ask, on the Russia investigation, are you concerned that that you may have I'm not concerned about anything with the Russian investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, That's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. Approximately 80,000 ballots that have been willed or spoken into existence. Dude. Now, Brenda Snipe says that every ballot is about five pages long. So that would mean since election day, since the election ended, since it was over, that 400
104,000, 295,000 pages have magically appeared somewhere in Broward County to affect the outcome of this election. I knew it's dark and it's hard to see. I think by 280 just walked up there with the provisional ballots walking back into the precinct and a bag of like, you know, the paper ballots. And I said to them, I go, what, you just can carry those around? And they said, no, the truck left them. But the truck's right here, so I'm not real sure what the hell's going on here. But I don't think it's right. The ballots are right there, like right in the middle screen, in blue bags on the ground. the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. They seriously put this stuff in people's car and then let them bring it to the truck? Like, really? Look, this lady is bringing ballots out of her car. Like, bringing ballots out of her car from apparently this building. I don't know. I'm not real sure what's going on here. Unless these are people coming from other precincts? Sir. Officer. Are these people coming from other precincts? Is that what's happening? So they let them transport them with one person in the car from other precincts? Apparently so, huh? That doesn't seem right, does it? I know, but you know it doesn't. So apparently Broward County allows people to drive from other precincts by themselves. There's people with just one person in the car here and they let them just drive over with the ballot. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. We have dreamers voting, right? If he has a voter registration card, uh -huh. he's registered to vote. Right. He has an ID, mm -hmm. driver's license. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Texas ID. Yeah. Or a passport. Mm -hmm. Right. Bring it up here. That's his ID. Show it to them, mm -hmm. and then he can vote. I just had a question because my uh, so let's car, yeah, and um, he's just really nervous because he's a DACA recipient. He was able to register though. Um, he's just trying to see if he's in the system. Uh, well, no, he is in the system, okay. but he knows that like I don't know. There's like an issue with DACA people voting. Um, mm -hmm. No, we had a lot of them. Got a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. From the early voter, we had tons of tons of DACA voters. Thank you. Okay. Him, All right, we'll do. Yeah. He just needs his ID, right? That's it. All Got right. Nice and, he's good. and it doesn't matter that he's missing. Okay.
hiding in the pantry because people are threatening her. I mean, it's upsetting. I've characterized the Antifa people and people like them as protesters, but they're not. I mean, they weren't protesting anything, but they, they weren't trying to change my mind or advocate for a position. They were threatening my family to get me to stop talking. But then you think of all the people, most people in this country, and they really feel like they have to shut up, that they can't say what they think because they'll be punished. Taco Carlton, you are outside your home, and we want you to know, we know where you sleep at night. Mailbox, we know where you sleep at night. We know where you sleep at night.